There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 UFO sightings confirmed by the government. There's enough obvious evidence here that we need to take this seriously, not downplay it. For this list, we'll be looking at the most intriguing times that people reported seeing unidentified flying objects, verified by American government officials. Do you think aliens are behind any of these sightings? Let us know in the comments which occurrence seems the most extraterrestrial. Number 10. Roswell Incident in the summer of 1947, rancher W.W. W. Brazel found mysterious debris on his New Mexico property. After he brought these materials to the authorities, the United States Air Force released a statement claiming that they had recovered a quote-unquote flying disc in Roswell. This description set off a resurgence of interest decades later in the 1970s, with conspiracy theorists claiming that the object had really been a crashed spaceship. It was now also claimed that extraterrestrial bodies had been found at the site. Proof that the Roswell UFO incident was real. It's a picture of an alien type creature and they claim it was taken in 1947 in Roswell. Authorities admitted in 1994 that the object had really been a top secret nuclear test surveillance balloon. Some are still convinced, however, that the real explanation. Aliens? or robots from the future, whatever. The point is they need to keep everyone in a blissful state of ignorance. Number nine, Lubbock Lights. Uh, my dad and I saw these um, lights coming over the screen. It was just a formation of lights. On a summer night in 1951, three professors from Texas Technological College were sitting outside when they saw something they couldn't explain. Not, who, who were apparently impressed enough by having seen strange things in the sky to go out and try to uh, try to observe them under scientific conditions. Flying over Lubbock were circular blue-green lights arranged in a V formation. The lights reappeared again after the first sighting and other people besides the professors spotted them. One witness, freshman Carl Hart Jr., even snapped a photo. Grabbed my camera and set the exposure on where I wanted it and ran back outside and and waited and then, you know, two more flights came over. I think I got two pictures of one and, and three of the other. But what was it? United States Air Force officer Edward J. Ruppelt, who investigated as part of Project Blue Book, concluded that it was an, quote, explainable natural phenomenon, end quote. He elaborated that a scientist had found the answer, but that he couldn't divulge it, as the scientist had requested anonymity. It was, at best, a frustratingly vague explanation. Number 8. Little Green Men What do you think of when you hear the word alien? For many, it's a diminutive green humanoid with eyes too big for its head. That depiction was popularized by a sighting near Kelly and Hopkinsville in Kentucky. Three, three and a half foot tall. Big ears, big eyes, arms down to the ground, and it was floating atop the ground, legs not moving. One summer evening in 1955, the Sutton family burst into the police station, claiming that their farm was under siege by small aliens. They'd been shooting at them for hours through windows and door screens. The United States Air Force looked into the incident as part of Project Blue Book and concluded that it was a hoax. Some have theorized that the Suttons were shooting at owls. On the other hand, many ufologists are convinced the Suttons fought off an alien attack in Kentucky. My family had a nice, quiet life. They loved the farm, they loved it out in the country, but that night changed everything for them. It was never gonna be the same again. Number seven, Flying Saucer. Just weeks before the Roswell incident in 1947, private pilot Kenneth Arnold was flying his plane in Washington state when he witnessed a bright flashing light above Mount Rainier. And the incident gains explosive nationwide news coverage. It's the first ever credible sighting of UFOs over the United States. Arnold described what he saw as a diagonally arranged formation of objects that weaved and darted around like saucers skipping across the water. At first, he thought maybe the speed was 1,200 miles per hour. But then later, it was calculated to be nearly 1,657 miles per hour. This description is what coined the phrase flying saucer. There have been many theories attempting to explain what Arnold saw. Publicly, the Air Force declared the sighting to be a quote-unquote mirage. The military did an investigation 
and they simply dismissed the whole thing. However, the Air Force and FBI continued to investigate, concluding that the saucers had been real and not due to natural phenomena. Eventually, this led to a larger investigation that evolved into the famous Project Blue Book. Number 6. Rendlesham Forest Incident In December 1980, a security patrol at an airbase in Suffolk, England, witnessed glowing lights descending into Rendlesham Forest. Strange lights are reported on the horizon in what appears to be a possible downed aircraft. When servicemen tried to get a closer look, the object moved through the trees. Radios failed as they approached the targeted area, and the air itself felt electrically charged as they closed in. Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt went on record claiming that the event was extraterrestrial and believed it was covered up. Today, the forest is home to a UFO trail and a monument shaped like the curious craft spotted there. The 2020 documentary Codename Randlesham described it as a legend as mysterious as the Loch Ness Monster. Number 5. Leveland UFO Case Remember this scene from Close Encounters of the Third Kind? After being enveloped by a strange light, Roy's car begins to experience strange malfunctions caused by an overhead UFO. Oh, shit. What you may not have known was that this moment was inspired by a real-life event that took place in Texas in 1957. Dozens of residents in the area claimed to have had experiences similar to that in the film over the course of one evening. Get out of there! I don't know what that is. The U.S. Air Force investigated and concluded that the cause was an electrical storm or ball lightning. Ufologists contested whether there was a storm that night, claiming otherwise before a committee of the U.S. House of Representatives in 1968. Number 4. Spherical UFO We can thank ufologist and filmmaker Jeremy Kenyon Lockyer Corbell for releasing this clip of a spherical craft. Allegedly, it was filmed in the Combat Information Center of the USS Omaha on July 15, 2019. We got some, a lot of white water up there, some six foot swells. Whoa, it's getting close. <clears throat> the UFO is seen flying through the air, then dips down into the water, proving that it can travel through various elements. By the end of the footage, the craft disappears into the ocean. What was splashed? splashed? Splashed. Mark bearing and range. The Pentagon confirmed that the footage was captured by the U.S. Navy. According to Corbell, a submarine search was conducted but found nothing. Do you think that we will see a release from the government that shows something conclusively? There is more that could be shared, will be shared with Congress for certain. I don't see that coming to the public soon. Number 3. Triangular Craft Corbell has also released footage of a mysterious triangular craft filmed by U.S. Navy personnel. The night vision clip was filmed from the destroyer USS Russell in 2019 and leaked by Corbell in 2021. In night vision video from a Navy destroyer, a mysterious flying triangle above the deck of the ship. According to Corbell, the government's classified briefing states that the alleged crafts in the footage are not owned by the United States or a foreign military. In addition, the objects were behaving in unexpected ways. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force hasn't been able to determine what these crafts are. And former Intelligence Chief John Radcliffe says officials have been tracking technology beyond our capabilities. The video has been confirmed as real by a Department of Defense spokesperson. The Pentagon could declassify more sightings of what they can't explain. Number 2. Gimbal and GoFast From 2014 to 2015, Fighter pilots from the USS Theodore Roosevelt recorded incredible footage of UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, which is what the government prefers to call UFOs. LNS though, is it? It's I do, they're on us, dude. Well, if there's a like good thing, thing, it's rotating. The pilots sighted the mysterious objects off the east coast of the United States. The videos were leaked online and later confirmed as genuine by the Pentagon with their official release in 2020. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. You can hear from the excitement in the pilots' voices that they really believe they were seeing something incredible. Oh, go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Roger. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. FLIR Off the coast of San Diego in 2004, Navy fighter pilot Commander David Fravor of the USS Nimitz carrier was asked to investigate radar indications of a potential target. Apparently, the missile cruiser USS Princeton had been monitoring an unusual object for two weeks. Fravor saw a white oval object hovering over the ocean. Another pilot recorded footage of the object, and the video, known as FLIR, was leaked to the media over a decade later with GoFast and Gimbal. Most of the more than 120 incidents over the past two decades are not from the U.S. military or other advanced U.S. government technology. As is the case with those videos, the Pentagon has confirmed that the video is authentic, making it serious evidence when it comes to UFOs. There's a lot of pressure by the, by the global public and the American public, you know, for answers. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.